I know that the main concern about this is if it can get easily scratched. If you kind of like this bag but you're not really sure, um, there are a few options that you can go to that has a similar look. The reason why they put this kind of leather despite of the objection of clients that it will get easily scratched is... Hello everyone, this is Murphy again, your favorite SA here in Louis Vuitton, Singapore. And today, my camera is crooked. Why? Why are you crooked? Hello everyone, this is Murphy again, your favorite SA here in Louis Vuitton, Singapore. And today we are going to talk about the new bag called Swing. If you're new to the channel, my name is Murphy and currently as I'm recording this video, I'm an SA here in Louis Vuitton, Singapore and I'm here to tackle a lot of things about Louis Vuitton products and new launches and a little bit of videos about my life on the side but mostly Louis Vuitton items so if you like the vibe on this channel, just uh, don't forget to subscribe so that I can reach more people. Oh, I'm so sorry, I have to change the angle of my camera. My tripod is acting out so I think I need to get a new one and uh, Let's stop talking about that. It's really frustrating for me. But today we are going to talk about the swing bag again. Well, not again. We are supposed to talk about swing bag. Uh, this is part of the spring summer 2022. And I posted it on my Instagram. I get good results, a lot of shares, a lot of comments. First of all, let me talk about the things that I like about this. First is the strap. This comes with two straps. It started with the yarn bag that I have a review about that will appear right here. Dayon bag has two options of uh, strap that are detachable or removable. Um, one is the short handle where you can use it as a shoulder carry or a handbag. And the other one is the long strap. So with this main bag, you can wear it in three different ways. Four, I think. No, three. One is shoulder bag, one is uh, hand carry, and the other one is crossbody bag. Um, what I like about this uh, long strap also is that it comes with a monogram print. It's a canvas strap. So that gives it more casual look. That gives it more playful and versatile vibe. As you see that the bag is actually a plain rectangle bag according to Praying for Elephant. And um, yeah, that, that gives it a Louis Vuitton casual vibe. Um, what can I say? Well, compartments. I love the compartments of this. It is elongated. So um, you can actually put your long wallet inside. I tried uh, Clement's wallet. It can fit, but it occupies the whole space already. So um, I would still suggest to get a compact wallet for it. Your phone can fit inside, definitely. It is a good size for a small bag. You can fit your essentials, I will say. Um, did I say that this is inspired by Pochette Metis? Although the only similarities that I see is the S lock. It's it's like a Pochette Metis, yeah, sure, that has been stretched out, but yeah, that, <laughs> that's what they say at least in the description that it's inspired by the Pochette Metis. For the lining, it comes with a textile lining, which is a uh, cotton fiber lining and um, it's good because it gives a little bit of vibe when you look at it inside. It's not just a plain leather or or uh, microfiber cloth that is in a plain color. It's actually cute to see. Aside from that, there's not much really benefit of having a cute lining right, other than showing it to your friends how cool the lining of your bag is. But I think it adds point. I find it cute. I also love the zip compartment. Uh, there are a couple of bags that has this kind of compartment, but for me, I am not a very organized person. So small details like compartments, organized compartments, zipper, it helps me a lot. So um, this is a plus point in my opinion. One cute thing about this is this little key charms that come with it. It comes with a monogram logo and a monogram print on the other side. It is detachable, you can use with or without it. But small details like this adds value to the bag. Price is 4450 I think it's pretty decent. Now our leather line ranges from 3,900 and above for this kind of bag. So 4,450 for a runway piece and a leather like this, which is I'm gonna discuss next. Uh, the price is actually pretty decent. So one thing that, uh, that I usually discuss at first, which I discussed last today, is the material because it comes with a soft cowhide leather finishing. I know that the main concern about this is if it can get easily scratched. 
um, well, it needs extra tender love and care. But the reason why they put this kind of leather, despite of the objection of clients that it will get easily scratched, is that it has this very clean, sleek, elegant, sophisticated look. So um, imagine this bag with a grainy leather. It wouldn't look so nice. It wouldn't look that pretty. It wouldn't look that elegant. So I think putting that leather is intentional and um, there's a reason for it. If you appreciate like a clean looking bag, this is actually it. Like it looks very neat and sophisticated. I think there is an advantage and disadvantages when it comes to this material, but you have to appreciate the total look of it and not how you're going to maintain it in the future. I know uh, a lot of people will react to this, but um, that's that's a reality. If we're not going to like C8 is not going to lie to you whether it's whether it's uh, it's it's going to be it's it's not going to be scratched because we don't want you coming back to us that we didn't tell you enough, but this leather needs tender love and care. That's all I can say. And uh, yeah. That's pretty much it. There are two colors available for this bag, which is the white and the black. So very common color. Um, in my opinion, I like the white more because there are just too many black bag in the world. And honestly, the white just looks very, very, very feminine and neat and nice. However, of course, do not ask the question, will the white get dirty easily? Of course, it will. So if you go for the white and you take my advice that white is nicer you have to take responsibility of taking care of it and having extra mile of looking after it and as i always say light colors always need standard love and care you have to always watch what you're wearing because color transfer is also one problem with light colored bag but between the two i would still go for the white well my first impression honestly about this bag it just it just looks so ordinary like there's really nothing special in my opinion but then honestly like this is really an honest experience with this bag once i tried it it looks really really nice it looks really good it looks very elegant this is a timeless bag this is uh something that that you can use for a lifetime like this I know that some of you said that this is just a another rectangular bag, but people who buy this are the people who appreciate timeless fashion. This is not the most trendiest bag that you could ever have, but if you are looking for a timeless piece that can match pretty much everything, then you can go for this bag. The quality and the workmanship of this bag is very different from any other uh, bags. It's it's almost in line with, as I told you, Pont 9, which is one of our premium bags. Uh, this will never go out of shape because it's meant to be structured. Um, what else are the good things? There are a lot of good things about this bag, but well, of course, this is not the most special, fashionable, outstanding head turner bag that you could have. But I believe that the people who will like this bag and who will get this knows their style, knows the elegance and the importance of being living by the code less is more um what else can i say maintenance is another thing well of course i would not see I, I do not see this bag as an everyday bag this is a bag that you occasionally would use for a nice occasion or 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 a, a dinner that you that you're looking forward to um it's elegant i don't know how many times is it elegant but i find it elegant if you kind of like this bag but you're not really sure um, there are a few options that you can go to that has a similar look. Well, of course, it is inspired by Pochette Metis, although I find them very, very different. Pochette Metis is another option for you. It's more squarish, it's more like a satchel, but it's also a timeless piece. Um, you can also go for Bushi. Bushi is actually a, uh, a new bag, a new launch uh, just last month, and it has been selling very, very well. It's been very popular. You can, if you are after showing the bag that you're wearing a Louis Vuitton bag you can go for Bushi because it has this lock that's shaped as a Louis Vuitton logo um, compared to this uh, swing bag that we have um, another one is the Pont 9 of course I love Pont 9 personally although it's a little bit bulky for um, for some petite woman but I see a lot of like Asian petite women that can carry it very well maybe I'm just on the chubbier side that's why I couldn't wear it myself but if you want to try you can just try in the store we most of the stores always have 
uh, at least one or two pieces to, to see in the store and there are a couple of seasonal color that are also very very nice for point nine. Well that's pretty much it about this bag. There hasn't been a lot of new bags coming in lately. It's hard for me to find a review, to find an item to, to review with you so uh, I took advantage of seeing and getting opinions about this bag first. And please just comment down below what you think about this bag. I love reading your, your comments although it's hard for me to reply like every single comments on it because you know I have a full-time job so <laughs> yeah I, I I would love to see what you think about this uh, new swing bag if you want to get updated with the latest and the hottest collection in Louis Vuitton you can follow my TikTok and my Instagram and also you can subscribe in this channel because uh, I always update also the full review and description in my opinion about the latest and the hottest bag in our Louis Vuitton store. So for now, I'm just gonna say goodbye and I will see you on my next video. Bye!